Hi and welcome back. I'm back again with another video and pretty soon this time just keeping my promise that I made with you guys. Today I wanted to show you a song that I made last year that I released last year I mean called Equality. I just wanted to show this project because it's a song that kind of special to me. It gives me like a, a really nostalgic vibe. It gives such a nostalgic vibe and I just wanted to share how I made it. So now we're on the computer and I think just to start it off I should play you the song a bit to just to get a refresher if you haven't heard it maybe uh, you can listen to it right now. Uh, keep in mind this song will sound different from the final version. This is the pre-mix, no pre-master sorry. Uh, so yeah, here's the song. So this is the song and for anybody wondering what are these muted tracks I don't know if you guys heard the original version originally it's supposed to have a speech but after we released it the label contacted me and said there was an issue with copyright so I had to take out the speech and leave it as an instrumental but I can I can show you it's I, I'm pretty sure it's Ayano Koji if I may I'd like to pose an interesting question human beings truly equal yeah uh, i don't know if you've seen the anime called the classroom of elite i think it's called the main character's speech is this in one of the episodes it sounded cool so i put it here but apparently there were some copyright issues so yeah to begin with uh this song actually started out inspired by a mox jade video shout out to mox jade in one of his video i think it's where he compares future bass with melodic dubstep he had a background song playing i don't remember the name i can show you like this one right here that's the song it sounded beautiful so i decided to like listen to it and make something similar you know in terms of vibes that i got and so the song started out with this chord you know just a typical emotional chords and then we have a re-space, the gain automation. And straight into the beat section. And in the background, we have uh, SFX, that's the transition to bring the listener in. And in the background, we have this vocal chalk that I just thought it was super emotional. I so it sort of fit the vibe of the song, so I just, you know, put it here. There's some rain and uh, an atmosphere layer and everything together sounds like this in the verse there's like a very basic drum beat you know it's just a kick and uh, i think it's a rim shot uh no it's a future bass perk and just to spice it up i have this loop playing in the background with some additional percussions here. Nothing super impressive, but just busy enough where it doesn't get boring. It kind of gives it like a nostalgic vibe using Foley's. I use different types of percussion depending on the vibe I'm going for with the song. 
it's either natural sounding or it can be very artificial sounding depending on what style i'm going for in this part i bring in uh, another atmosphere layer this is one i made myself If you want this, I will link my free sample pack in the description and you can just download it. In this verse section, I have this gated chord thing, which is just a serum preset I made. In it's a preset that I made inspired by, uh, if you heard the song No Pressure by Tim Exchenda and... Uh, what the hell is the singer's name? They had this synth and I made it and I think for the post-processing, it just has like a low-pass filter. This filter here, and some sound -gadizer, reverb, uh, limiter for side-chaining, and some OTT. And there's a guitar, you know, to be, give it a vibe. Now by itself, it sounds like shit. Terrible. <laughs> it's a contact guitar, um, let me find it. It's vintage electric. I got this, I got this for like 99 bucks, was it? Euro? I think they put this guitar on sale quite a lot. I, I'm not sure, but I did see it on sale quite a bit. So this is a pattern that I chose. I'm not sure what guitar this is. It's one of the few first presets, I'm pretty sure. I don't exactly know, because I don't know why. This plugin just likes to forget what preset I'm using. But yeah, it's just a contact guitar and nothing special. Uh, if you want to see the post-processing, OTT, some sound goodizer, EQ, and uh, sidechain. Yeah, that's it for the verse. Uh, so in the pre-build-up and the build-up, in the build-up, uh, I decided to, you know, uh, just keep every element going, but I wanted to add more stuff and make it more emotional. So I added this saw pad. It's just a basic saw pad that I have in Serum. Yeah, see, it's just an initial preset with a low pass, low mid MG12. In the effects, there's a hyper dimension, some chorus, some reverb. Man, just a dubstep producer is going to hate me for this one. But <laughs> he hates reverb on Serum. So, <laughs> yeah, and some EQ. In post processing, I only have OTT again. EQ again to clean it up, sound goodizer to sound goodizer to bring it back and have it be more prominent and some soft clipping because it was super quiet. Like if I turn it off, it's quieter. So I put some soft clipping without ruining the sound. So I have another vocal transition thing here. I think this is from Jono. If you know Jono, it's his sample pack, it's free. If I can find it, I will link it. And here's the melody. It's a semantics loop. It's a fantasy good life 90 BPM loop that for some reason just sounded right. So I put it here and this is how it sounds. So for the post processing, I only have like a you know, another OTT. I used to use a lot of OTT. I don't anymore, but I mean, I guess I still do. And uh, this uh, EQ here, removing all low end. This is sound goodizer and uh, reverb. So I don't have any snares building up because I didn't want it to have that super, you know, your typical build up snares going crazy part. I wanted to keep this song emotional. And to me, the snares just kind of ruined it. So I just had a kick and claps going and that's it uh, in terms of like these automations it's just a volume automation to make the build up quieter than the drop endless smile and you know just making the build up washed out so it's on an actual build up <laughs> pre-drop i only have like a sub drop here it's a sub drop that i made and i have this thing here climatic sample uh trap city fx 10 shattered glass a window and uh, i have this snare roll here which is actually made by my friend me and my friend lextus in one of our sessions together now let's move on to the drop
Okay, so for the drop, it's pretty typical. Like, typical with my drops, you know, you have your drums, kick, snare. This is the Twilight Princess snare remix snare. I'm, I'm pretty sure I showed how to make this in my Twilight Princess remix, which is here. This kick is a basic cinematics kick, I'm pretty sure. Future bass for you have your percussions and stuff. Yeah, in the second half, I just added another loop. This is this is the loop that I added, and plus uh, these hi hats. In terms of the bass, the main sounds, uh, you know, I have my typical sub bass. Uh, a mid bass, like a very deep grease bass, a very dark sounding one. There's a chaos sauce. There's another saw. This white noise. Uh, in the second half, there's guitars that come in, and for the guitars, it's basically the same one as the verse with just distortion. So the difference between the verse guitar and the build up and the drop guitar is that in the drop guitar I I, I just use like amps here in the guitar cell. This is the effects that I have on the guitar. And in the verse guitars I don't have the the amps playing, so it sounds way more cleaner, way more lush. And in the drop I wanted it to be dirty and gritty, but still beautiful sounding, so I just use those. And this is how everything together sounds. Okay, so let's move on to the next part. Transitioning from the drop and the second bill, second verse, I just have like I basically have the same intro. Uh, the only difference that I added this like snare roll, just to let the people know that this is not the end or anything. It's just you know the second part coming in. <laughs> when the respace comes back, I bring back the no pressure synth here, the gated synth. I made a drum and bass beat instead of a regular future bass beat just to keep it interesting so this is how it sounds by itself nothing too complicated as you can see it's basically the same as uh, the previous verse just the added addition of uh, this clap clap big i made this with you know a clap and reverb it's just a washed out clap that i made and this bang ride yeah, these are the only two things that I added. And the other thing, cool thing that I did here is when the second half of the verse comes in, uh, you can see like I removed them. Like that, I removed like the first, the drums. I started doing this uh, a lot in my music lately. I don't know, it just fills me with more emotions, I feel like. It feels more emotionally attached. I feel it's like it, it gives like an emphasis of this part, like, oh, switching up, what's happening now? <laughs> if that makes sense. One thing that actually kept me surprised uh, is when I released this song, listening back to it, and I kept hearing a transition effect right here in this particular part. I don't know if the YouTube compression will allow it or if you can make it out. There should be like a sound coming in right here. 
It sounds weird. It sounds like an actual transition effect, but I don't remember putting that. Uh, I kept checking over and over again. And at the end, I found out that I added this new atmosphere layer right here. This AS Atmos Falls E. This is the one that's making that sound. Uh, if you listen carefully. Yeah, it's basically that. <laughs> that's, you know, the transition effect that's happening is because of that. I don't know if you can hear it, but that's it. But like, if I if I turn off this sound, you can't hear that anymore. You see, yeah, you can't hear it anymore. So it's basically that one atmosphere thing that's making this whole sound like that. It can't be confused for like a fucking week, dude. <laughs> I'm so confused. Anyway, just to end the second verse here, I have strings coming in. In this orchestra section which are augmented strings uh i i think this was like free for like a month when uh arturia uh first made this plugin the, uh, they were giving it away for free uh, i think it doesn't cost that much actually now i think it's something like 30 70 bucks or something it's really good if you can buy it that definitely do and second string is this BBC Orchestra, which is completely free. You can go and download it right now. Like really, like literally. Stop watching this video and download it. Actually, no. Please finish watching this video and then go and download it. Please. I beg of you. Please. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's the part that I have coming in in the build-up. As you can see, the build-up is nothing special here. Uh, there's just, you know, atmospheres upon atmospheres, melody, uh, transition sounds, transitions here, cashmere drum loops, that's the only difference. And I have the claps coming in, the build up clap coming in with the gain automation too. And just before, just in the build up when the everything starts going chaotic, I have another cashmere loop here. Just, that's how they sound together. And the second thing that I have coming in are this brass sounds. Brass are all BBC Orchestra. Again, free plugin. You can download it after watching this video. Please watch this video, god damn it. So this is the trumpet that I used. And this is the second one. It's playing this one, the lower layer. Uh, I think I, if I can play it solo. This is how one sounds, this is how the other sounds. You know, it's just one octave below. That's the second build up here, and there's nothing else going on other than that. And let's move on to the final drop. this time is that the guitar plays throughout the drop and not just the second half and there's a low pass filter here opening up and I play it with some expectations of the listener like because normally you would expect ah oh, it's just gonna come in and that's it there's nothing else happening but I decided to you know manipulate the LFO of the whole drop like I'll turn it off or turn it on and then have it cut out reverb automating if I just play you the chords Sounds like this. Just to keep it more interesting, I have it play like that. Because I felt like uh, I didn't want to change the drop too much. Uh, you know, usually my music has two different drops. There's never a same drop coming in twice. There's always something different in the second drop. And th in this particular case, I didn't necessarily want to do that because I don't know I felt like it ruined the vibe because I did try a melodic dubstep drop here just like video from Max Jade he made a song I'm pretty sure he made Spellbound which I remixed yeah we, you know this, this song right here yeah that one pretty sure he made that in that video but yeah I tried that but it didn't work for my case so I just you know did this I feel like it plays with the it plays with the intention enough where the listener doesn't get too bored it's interesting enough I feel like 
I'm using this plugin right here. This is a free one. Again, free. Go and get it. After watching this video, but please. <laughs> I wanna keep this joking. Yeah, this is the plugin that I use. The only difference is I don't have it at 100%. Now, why don't I have it at 100%, you might be asking. Because to me, it just sounded wrong. Uh, I can play it to you guys at 100%. Like, this is how it would sound. It just sounded too choppy, too uh, weird. So I just kept it at clean 50%. It just sounded way better for this song. The next thing in the drop is that I have this plug coming in here. Is the melody from the build up i just wrote it in the drop it sounds like this by by itself <laughs> this is a massive bell sound basically i use this wavetable right here if i if you can see this wavetable at this percent and then this is the shape i don't really understand massive that well i just made it when i got massive and you know just forgot about it in terms of mixer it has OTT, EQ, Sound Goodizer, Free Reverb, Free Balance. Another thing that I added, clap. To me, it just gives it more movement. Now I can just show you the outro. Okay, so for the outro, there's nothing special. It's just basically the intro, but finishing. Just piano playing, and nothing else. Like, this just some rain, vocal, the atmosphere, which I started with. To finish it off, this Asher Postman deep kick. That's the song. That was my song Equality. I just broke down. I hope you guys learned something from this. I hope it wasn't too boring of a sit through. And hey, if you enjoy and if you got any sort of information from this video, please subscribe. I hope this was helpful. I hope you know, you learned something here. And hey, I did more of these videos, uh, the walkthroughs. If you want to see more walkthroughs, songs like Say It Again, Twilight Princess, and some older songs too that I made in the past. I have more videos. Uh, you can check it, out, check them out in this playlist here, right here somewhere. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you in another video. Peace.